During the recent lockdown to avoid the spread of COVID-19, His Excellency Yori Kakuta Museveni directed the Prime Minister to give Ugandans relief into the 42 days of the lockdown. The beneficiaries were from cities and municipalities. It's on these grounds that the Mokono District leadership have met the State Minister in charge of Youth and Children Affairs, Honorable Sarah Mateke, to give a report on how the exercise was handled at a function that was held at the district offices. The town clerk of Mokono Municipality highlighted some of the challenges they encountered while registering the beneficiaries. Had uh, several challenges. Um, the Politicians were concerned that, uh, you know, we did not really mobilize people to find out who should benefit. So that was a big uh, complaint from them. But we advised them, please remember we are under lockdown, so we cannot invite everyone. Mokono District RDC Fatuma Ndisaba revealed the need of working as a team to ensure that people of Mokono benefit from government programs. I think that target... Mokono municipality is like having over a hundred of the targeted group. Most of our people received the funds. I thank you so much. It is a team that I admire. In her address, Mateke clarified on why politicians were not included in the COVID-19 relief fund exercise. We are sorry for the politicians. We did not involve you. I'm also one of them, but I was not involved because we're avoiding to bring politics in the whole thing. And you know what happens. We all have people, and at times you'll find it, in fact, even in some districts it happened, you find this one did not support me, don't register this one. So that's why we left everything with the technical people. She, however, urges the leadership to put politics aside and deliver to Ugandans, especially for the people of Mukono. Please work with due diligence, with integrity, Tomorrow you'll find yourself somewhere else. And I want to thank the representative of the mayor. Uh, the colors do not matter this time. What matters are the people of Uganda and how best we can serve them. In a related development, the minister, Sarah Mateke, also met the Kira municipality leadership over the COVID-19 relief fund assessment, where they explained the challenges they encountered during the exercise, making recommendations in case such exercises resume. Of course, at first they say that those with the debts on their mobile monies, they will not deduct not those debts. But you had some cases, people saying that they brought to I I was having a debt of 50, it was deducted. So now I'm remaining with the 50. Now the family is harassing me. They are saying that I ate that money. I think it's uh, very crucial that government supports that particular aspect of collecting information or data on the number of people that we have, especially in the local governments, and what they do, and all their particulars, so that next time we are not caught uh, off guard. Those people who have not benefited, we now have the Spanish development model that is coming. Can we put them on board, especially these ones in slums? who are very vulnerable. Can we sit with them as technical people and we advise them, get the best uh, enterprise selection committee to advise them that you can do this and get this money. This story was filed by Julius Mohumuza for Dream TV News.